All right, today I thought in today's live, um, first of all, sorry to anyone who thought I would, um, it was 9 a.m., which is our normal Tuesday chat. I thought I had um, double booked myself, but it turned out I didn't, but I'd already changed the, the time for this, so I decided to wait. So, um, yeah, that's why. But generally, Tuesday chat is 9 in the morning. If for some reason it can't be, I'll just push it back a couple of hours, but I'm trying to stick to 9 every Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I totally messed up this morning. But anyway, um, all right. So today I thought I would uh, have a chat about a product, uh, one that I really like. So, um all right, good morning, Mary Ann. I hope you can hear me all good. Um, yeah, so today I thought, yeah, let's do a product chat. Um, and of course, pastels are my favorite. So I thought I would talk about Art Spectrum um, because I've been using some of their extra soft pastel sticks lately and um, just got a new one. I just ordered another little set. So um, it arrived, so I thought, why not have a chat about that? Um, so don't get pop any questions in the comments, and I'll keep an eye on that as I'm, I'm talking. But I, like I said, I've come in through Zoom so I could share my screen. Um, so let's have a look. Um, just need to want that. Do no, I don't that? <laughs> you have to bear with me with this screen sharing. <laughs> Um, there it is right there, and I'm hoping I'll be able to switch around. You'll be able to see my screen as I'm going, so we'll see how we go. All right, so Art Spectrum. Um, I've never used to really use Art Spectrum because um, they that I felt they were a bit hard for what I liked but they have the new range of um, extra soft square pastels. And um, I really, I really like them actually. And um, I love that they're an Australian company. And I thought this was really interesting that it originated as a co-op run by a group of local painters who sourced knowledge and machinery required to produce materials that would meet their needs in the local art community. So obviously they were struggling to get, um, to get art supplies here in Australia or quality stuff. So they just decided to make their own, which was brilliant. Um, they have a lot of products, of course, Art Spectrum um, do oils and I think they do watercolour, the acrylics, all that sort of stuff. But they do pastels as well, which is where I'm interested, of course. Um, they also do pastel paper, uh, which is colour fix. And the beauty of this being an Australian company, is that the colours they create seem to be geared more to Australian landscapes, which is pretty ideal if you're an um, Australian landscape or wildlife or nature artist. So, um, again, colour fix paper is what I sort of started on, um, but I don't really use it anymore because I prefer pastel matte by Claire Fontaine. Um, but in saying that, if you don't like pastel mat or you struggle, Colour Fix is still a great pastel paper. Um, I'm not affiliated in any way with Art Spectrum, by the way. So um, I just thought I would make sure you know that. It's just, um, yeah, I've been starting to use some of the soft pastels and I've been liking it. Um, okay, so on their website, under resources, you can download. This is the um, colour chart. Now, like I said, it sees art, um, the extra soft square pastels that I am liking. Um, just let me double check. Let me, hold on, guys. I just wanted to make sure you can see my page. Uh, yep, cool. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's these square ones like this. They're called extra soft. Now, I like soft pastels, really soft pastels like Schmincke um, and Blue Earth's another really nice one I like because I work on pastel matte and I find the softer pastels are better for blending. So I use the sticks more for backgrounds 
um, and blocking in. So I like them to be able to blend. Uh, so you can download the full color guide from their website right here. Uh, these are the sets. Uh, what else is this one? Okay, that's the single. They're the single colors, but it's the sets that I'm loving. Uh, so you can see each of these uh, as a as a whole set. So the one I got, let me go to. Um, you, know, you can't buy pastels straight from Art Spectrum. You've got to go to a supplier. So one um, that I use is um, softpastels.com.au in Newcastle. Okay, so this is the set I bought originally. It's called Arid Landscape. And the idea was I was heading to Fraser Island to do um, beach scenes and uh, I wanted the, I knew the wreck there is really rusty, I wanted those red colours and um, this was ideal. Just come back to that. So I just have to keep checking <laughs> that, um, that you can see my screen. I wasn't sure if jumping from page to page on the internet it would follow me, but it is. Okay, so... Um, this arid set, look at these beautiful blues and reds and all the rest of it. And I'll show you. I wanted to just go over to what I did on what I was using them for on Fraser Island. So this is um, this here, the wreck over there, the Mahino has it's all really rusted. It's absolutely beautiful reds and oranges and um, yellows. So um, these were some of the colours I was playing with in this set. So you can see they're ideal for these um, Australian rusty sort of colours. Um, and then I also was using them for the beach scene. And as you can see on this picture, these colours of the sand and the grass and everything and the the water's probably not quite right, but the sky, color, it's the colour match is brilliant on them. On, and that was these art spectrums, um, the arid landscape set. And, um, yeah, just looking at this setup, you can really see how those sand colours work perfectly and those greens, those olive greens and the um, blue sky, you know, it was a cloudy day, it's not bright blue. But all of that was in that arid set that I created that with. So um, I was really happy with it. Now, I just wanted to play a little video from when I was on Fraser. I'm hoping the sound will go through, but I will stop talking for a minute and um, hopefully you might be able to hear this. Uh, maybe it won't play when it's on screen share. No, obviously it won't play on screen share, but anyway, these were a couple of the paintings I did um, while I was over on Fraser, so just playing with colours. Um, and then I just received, I'll just come back to Art Spectrum here, I just ordered this cool grey set, okay, which I felt was, um, I love that you, I, I find I use a lot of greys in, um, in back, uh, probably backgrounds, blocking in, all of that sort of stuff. I don't know, grey, a lot of sets don't have a lot of greys in them. So that's why I've sort of bought the grey set separately. Now this is cool greys and I will probably end up getting the warm greys. Um, but you can see uh, the colour swatches down here, all these blues, really cool blues and stuff in here. But um, I did notice, I will just stop screen sharing. I did notice I doubled up on some, um, some colours. So, which of course isn't ideal, but um, what I did was this was the, nope. Oh, this is the arid landscape set. Okay, and this is my new set of greys. Okay. 
Um, now, I realised once I got them that three of the blues in this um, set here, because I got cool grey, so they're more leading, leaning towards blues. So these three colours here I already have in the arid landscape set. But um, in saying that, I'm, I'm more than happy with that because I'm doing a whole series on Fraser Island. I'm going to run through all those blues probably quite a lot anyway. Um, so, yeah, so as it turned out, it's not too bad. But I did also, um, I was looking on the, art spec, uh, the soft pastel site and looking, buying a set, that was $60. Five dollars, I think, for that set, or sixty-six dollars. Um, where and it has ten, yeah, a box of ten. Whereas to buy them individually, they're only six dollars each. So it would have been cheaper for me to buy individual sticks. So if I had have been probably smarter, I would have realised that those three colours were already I already had them, and then I could have just bought those individual other um, seven colours and it uh, would have been cheaper. But like I said, I'll use them anyway. And I'm also planning, I think I'm going to get the um, warm grey set as well. But I just really like how the sets uh, colour match like that. They're really cool. Um, uh, Mary, you will use the colours. Yeah, I sure will. <laughs> um, definitely. So um, I also was going to show you guys. Um, so like I said, in this little ocean painting that you saw before, um, they're all from the art spectrum, that arid landscape set. So the sand colours, the blues, all of that. And then just let me share this again. Um, hold on, I've just got to find the picture. Oh, have I lost it already? Um, hold on. Just bear with me while I try and find this picture. I did have it up, but of course I ended up losing it. <laughs> um, let's go to there. To, um, is it? There we go. Okay, I will just screen share again. Screen share this one. Share. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, yep. Okay, so um, this is. Uh, my latest painting is the first of the Fraser Island collection I've been doing from one of my photos. But you can see this whole, the whole background was all totally done with those uh, arid landscape colours again. So, um, and that's big, that's a, a full sheet of pastel mats, so it's 50 by 70. So, um, yeah, it, I'm definitely going to use it, of course. So that's one of many. So any... Um, I think I've planned on about 30 different, um, 30 different um, paintings. So, and some are quite big. I like to work pretty large. So um, just let me double check the um, comments here. Donna, some office works have sets of art spectrums on clearance around $3.20. Yeah, they, they probably aren't, Donna. They're probably not the the these ones. I don't know that they'd be the square sticks. So that's something I was like, I haven't really used much in the way of art spectrum pastels before because um, these are their normal original um, artist soft pastel. Okay, right here. Okay, these are the extra soft pastels. Okay, so I'm not sure if. Office works might have them, um, but these are extra soft, um, would be more expensive, I'm guessing. And they're, they're the ones I was saying, they're about $6 each from softpastels.com.au. Um, I know our art shop up here has them, 
but I haven't actually checked the price on them. Okay, so the reason I don't really use these ones is that I would call them probably not hard, probably more medium. And like I said, I prefer a soft pastel. So this is a bit of pastel mat here. Um, and these go on all right. Um, but I prefer the softer ones because when I, um, I blend, I find the softer sticks. I blend with a sponge tool. So this is a pan pastel sponge tool. And I find the softer ones blend easier than these um, harder ones up here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, and that's why I, I really do love Schminkies the best because I feel like they're the softest. But um, yeah, so I, it's more for blending and because I use pastel mat. Now, um, if you were to use, say, a sanded paper, then you probably wouldn't use these really soft pastels. I know a lot of pastel artists that use the really sanded papers. These are the ones that feel a bit like sandpaper. Um, they wouldn't use really soft pastels, only, only at the end maybe for putting a few highlights and things on uh, because you would chew through one of these in about five seconds <laughs> trying to do a background on this stuff. It is literally like sandpaper. So um, that you would use your really soft ones right towards the end. So that's when the harder ones do come in a lot better because they don't really chew through as, as quickly. Okay, so depending on what you prefer, what paper you prefer, I suppose, would depend on um, how you go about doing your, your, what pastel sticks and that you use. So I do have a few of these harder ones just because they do come in handy. Sometimes um, you might want a harder edge to do maybe whiskers, um, things like that. Whereas some of the soft ones, they're, they're just so soft that when you try and get a fine line, they end up um, going really fat. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I, I need to look around, I suppose. I haven't really looked. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Um, I don't know if these harder ones come in the sets that are color match like I was showing. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I really love, I love sets. And that is, I usually tell everyone to get a half stick set, but these guys don't come in half sticks. That That is their full stick. So, um, yeah, but I just, I love sets when the colours are all there in a set. And um, then I can, because a lot of times, of course, which we put our, um, I don't know if you can see on my, over my shoulder there under the penguins is um my box of pastel sticks so norm it's really messy at the moment but normally you would sort your colors by um uh, light to dark or cool to warm whereas if you are already buying your sets like this already sort of from light to dark and everything and you know that's just all cool then you can keep them in these boxes and just sit them next to you while you're working. You don't need to um, to get another box because I they really do. I feel mine. I keep my my picture's mirrored, so I keep pointing over the wrong shoulder. But I do really. Um, I find mine in the big wooden box there. They seem to get wrecked, damaged, and that a little bit. I don't know. Um, so, oh, you love the seagull, Marianne. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe we can do a seagull in the membership. <laughs> but with the whole idea with the seagull, I did that, all the pastel stick background, made it all nice and, and blurry and all the rest of it. And then um, the little seagull is just done in pencil. And I built up those layers, so I got to um, a point where I could just blend. Because seagulls are really smooth, so but there's light, really subtle um, light changes on them. So by slowly building up those pencils and getting to that 
uh, layer. I'll see if I can just bring it back up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, oh, hold on. There, I've got to share the screen. Okay, I wonder if I can zoom in. Yeah, so the background was all done, like I said, with that arid landscape set, all in pastel stick. And then, I don't know if you can tell, like just really light layers all through here. So I built up um, pale greys and that and definitely tried to keep this side white um, and around his little head and everything. This picture's a little bit pixelated. But there's really subtle, there's some pinks even in here. My good old Kaput Morton. Um, there's some creams. There's really light colour changes on him. And um, that was, I was able to get it still nice and smooth and just add the tiniest little colour changes by building up those slow layers, uh, those light layers, until the pastel mat got to that point of being able to just really lightly blend um, and you sort of don't fill the tooth up that way. I just really like working in that way. When we did the people portraits, we were doing that as well. We are building up all those really light layers. So, all right. Um, hi, Donna. And Louisa. All right. Um, yeah, so that's sort of what I, I just wanted to, I know it's not a really long Tuesday chat, but um, that was what, I, these came in the mail and I thought, oh, I know what I can talk about. We'll just have a little chat about the Art Spectrum Extra Soft Pastels and how I'm really liking them. <laughs> um, yeah, so unfortunately that video wouldn't play because it was a few minutes long of um, how I was using those pastels on the beach there. But you could really see in that one photo how um, those colours those sand colours, the sand especially I found, um, these colours all through here, they were ideal, like some of these sand ones. And um, we also found when we were over on the Tasmanian Art Retreat <clears throat> um, that a lot of us were using these colours um, in pretty much everything we were doing. They do have another landscape set, so make sure... Um, I live in Queensland, so the arid really sort of suited, but um, they I don't know what the other one was called actually, but um, just double check. But the other, if you live in a, an area or country that's a lot greener maybe, um, then the other one might be a better landscape set. So, all right, um, I think um, that is it. All right, Donna, I might actually even have a look on Officeworks and see if they are the, the um, fat little square ones, the extra soft. But I'm thinking, like I said, I think they could just be these standard ones, which these are definitely a lot cheaper. And you can quite often find these on special. I bought quite a few um, at one of the art shops in Harvey Bay was closing down and she had a lot of these sort of half price. So... I did buy a few. Like I said, I don't use them that often, the harder ones, but they're, they're still handy to have. You can pick any pastels up that are, are cheap on special. Even look on, um, I know a few of my members have managed to find pastel sets and sticks on Facebook Marketplace, people that have, you know, got into it, bought all the stuff and then didn't like it. So they're selling their, their um, art supplies and that's a great way to get them. So. All right, um, I can't see any other, um, oh, it went on Wendy. Uh, temperate landscape, thanks, Louisa, that's what it is. That's the other, the other um, landscape set is temperate. Um, I think there are 100 and, again, they worked out cheaper to buy the sticks individually, but, which is a bit weird, but anyway. All right, when you did the turtle tutorial, you had a picture in picture of the original. I found it quite happy. Oh, a picture in, oh, yeah, I see, yes. Okay, Wendy, Wendy's talking about when I do a tutorial. Quite a few of them do have that, Wendy, um, when I remember to do it. So there are, you will find some throughout the membership that have the picture there. 
Um, and yes, I know it is really handy. It's something I have to remember to do more often. But um, yeah, if you go through, some of them will have, a, I can't add it later. Um, but yes, I will make a note that um, I'll try and remember to do that more often. So, all right. Um, I think that is it, guys. So, yeah, that's my recommendation for Art Spectrum, the extra soft pastels. I'm really liking them, loving the colours. Um, so, yeah, if you get, you know, birthday present for someone or you can tell your family as a birthday present or Christmas present to get you a, a little set of um, sticks. <laughs> so, all right, thanks for joining me. Um, like I said, I think that's it. All right, and um, I will see you all next Tuesday. Um, it should be 9 o'clock as usual, okay, and I'll try and think of something um, great to talk about. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys, for joining me.